Imagine that somebody told you something that was a little bit hard to believe. The Queen came to visit my house. I don't know about you, but I would find that a little bit unbelievable. Like me, you might have lots of different questions. Like, how did she get there? How did she arrive? What was she wearing? And what's her favourite type of tea? Even if they answered all of those questions, you might still not believe them. But what if a different friend said that they were also there? I was there at the house. I saw the Queen too. And not just one friend or two, but 12 of your friends saw the Queen. And every time you ask someone, everybody said that they saw the Queen. With so many witnesses, it would be hard to say that this was made up. And a very similar thing happened to Jesus. After he died on the cross, after three days, the tomb was found empty. Women saw Jesus alive, but they weren't the only people that Jesus appeared to. Jesus appeared to Peter, he appeared to the 12 disciples, and he appeared to more than 500 others. With so many witnesses, we can be really confident that Jesus really did rise from the dead. This wasn't just one person's imagination or a story that they made up later, but they reported Jesus who they saw, who they spoke with, and who they even ate with. Paul, in the letter to the Corinthians, doesn't want them to forget that Jesus really did rise from the dead. And he doesn't want us to forget that either. Because this fact that Jesus is alive changes everything.